Today's topic is about promoting prosocial behaviors in early childhood. I will discuss why we need to focus on it, what does it mean, and some findings to support prosocial behaviors. There has been growing concerns of the various social issues, such as family breakdown, challenging behaviors of children and youth, and the increasing problems of aggression and bullying. As a result, academic achievement could be impacted. Values education has become prominent in schools and preschools over the past decade to produce active citizens. Promoting prosocial behavior as a part of moral development includes teaching values and a sense of justice, and to participate socially and morally in the community. Prosocial behavior has also been linked to social emotional skills and positive academic outcome. So, what is prosocial behavior? Eisenberg defined this as Voluntary behavior intended to benefit another. Voluntary implies children understand to behave prosocially, such as helping, sharing, consoling, and encouraging. Research have associated prosocial behavior with a number of factors. Empathy is the capacity to understand others' emotions. Perspective taking is a multidimensional approach involving cognitive, visual, and affective abilities. Perspective taking and empathy require children to think outside themselves. Self-regulation practice helps children to manage their emotions and behave more prosocially. Some beliefs and research show both genetic and environmental factors play a role in building empathy. However, stronger consensus and evidence support children's environment as a greater factor. There are mixed findings that relate secure attachment theory to prosocial development. Individual differences seem to be influenced by caregiver's warmth or responsiveness to the child's needs and how much the child practice emotional regulation and learn others' perspective. So what professional development that we need to help us promote pro-social behaviors? I will highlight two key things based on the findings. Perspective taking. It is important for teachers to discuss perspective taking with children to help them understand and construct moral values and reasoning. Teachers need to learn to foster discussion and social problem-solving with children. Self-regulation and responsiveness are key strategies that require teachers to develop emotional competence in dealing with children. Professional development will support teachers in providing practical tips and examples in building secure relationships, modeling emotional regulation, and learning ways to discuss with children to construct their understanding of pro-social values.